one sixtieth. So I put it at f4.5. I line you up and Gary, are you gonna look? Good day and welcome back to the channel. As you can see, it hasn't started off very well. <laughs> the focus was completely out on this one. But stick with it. I went to the park and I went to the city and I promise you it does get worse from here on in. Okay, so I've come back here. Let's try this park that I came to before where I tried those Fuji simulations. This one here, I think I did an Acros simulation from Fuji. Now I've got the real thing. I got the T Max 100 120 film. Hey Jerry, what do you think? This is the real deal now, Jerry. And see if I can compose this. It's a bit overcast today, but that's all right. Pop. Lens cap. Jerry, are you going to help? No. There, you can see it's really hard. You can see it's pretty hard to bloody get that focus in so f11 1125 I think I left the focus from the previous shot so that's this one's my fault so I probably overexposed the hell out of the first shot <laughs> anyway the second shot I did of that you know monkey magic egg um, that I did last time with the Acros hopefully that was all right f8 at one one sixtieth. Okay, bin chickens and a nice little enclave here, and all that green moss there. Not that you can see it in black and white, but hopefully it might contrast out. Uh, it's quite weird. Uh, like I said, it's weird because. It's reversed, so <laughs> that stupid um, life raft there. Uh, it was on the other side, and I'm looking at it. I'm looking to my left, going, "Where the hell is it?" <laughs> it's on the right, but on in the viewfinder, it's on the left. I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm focused at infinity, and it's still bloody out of focus. I don't know. I'm starting to think it's not me. That's if any of these bloody photos are turning out. <laughs> uh, I'm, um, I am metering bloody spider web. It's uh, not the easiest camera to shoot with. And like I always say, why the hell did I bring Jerry with me today? <laughs> I love to get myself into pickles. Okay, so I come back and waterfalls are open now. Uh, and I'm gonna try two shots. I'm going to try one with normal capturing the speed and another one with making it really slow. I've got an ND filter, 10 stop ND filter. Let's we'll see how that goes. Hardest part is figuring out how long to press the shutter button. Um, so I've got a calculator on my phone and I'll figure that out using the light meter and the calculator with the ND filter on top and see how we go with that. So I've set it up like this and hopefully it's framed up. But the problem is it's all back to front so you just gotta you know twist your mind and as you can see when you move your head around it goes all wonky so trying to get it in focus and I've just put it out at infinity. My fastest shutter speed is 250 on the uh, old Lubitel uh, so it's telling me f6.3 so as you can see there I've got at 125 now it says 6.4 but there's only 5.6 and 8 so I just put it in between in the middle there a little bit so see how we go there 
All right, so I've got to prime the lens, the shutter, click. Let's hope for the best. That's it. Frozen. Now for the hard part to get it all smoothy and silky. So I'm going to use my 10 stop. I uh, probably shouldn't use a 10 stop, but so what? Uh, at, I'm going to leave it at 250 shutter speed. Uh, so I've worked it out, it's around 4 seconds. At 250 shutter speed, it's going to be 4 seconds. Now the problem with this stupid bloody thing is that the filter size is 40.5. Now good luck finding a 40.5 out there. Uh, <laughs> it's like old school I think. So what happens I can do is this thing fits just on top. Uh, that's it. At 250 speed it's 4 seconds. So I've got to, oh shit, I've got to put it on bulb mode. One sec. Slow down, Rob. <laughs> I forgot to wind the film up. I forgot to put it in bulb mode. <laughs> so yeah. Now you got to, with film, it makes you slow down. Slow down, Rob. So, yes, I know, mate. <laughs> Let's do four seconds Jerry bum one, Jerry bum two, Jerry bum three, Jerry bum four Did that even work? Uh, helps if I cock the shutter <laughs> Jerry bum one, Jerry bum two, Jerry bum three, Jerry bum four and the bloody bird flew right across just as I was taking the shot. Bloody bin chicken! <laughs> You're kidding. Yeah, that's an R3. Yeah, Mach 3. Mach 3, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I actually had a go of this guy's Sony A7R3. It's very impressive, like in the hand. 42 megapixels. Man, I'm, I struggle um, processing 20 megapixels on my computer. <laughs> now, there's a few obstacles with this thing. You know, one thing, you need glasses. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man, lucky. Typical. As soon as I put these bloody glasses on, I can't see shit, but then I can't, it's only for that, so... I, I'd had to be, I had to be a professional, and uh, a model is waiting for me to get ready. A shutter speed 160, it's 4.5, that makes more sense. Filter on, Jerry bum 1, Jerry bum 2, Jerry bum 3, Jerry bum 4, Jerry bum 5, Jerry bum 6. That's it. Let's see how that turned out. It slows you down alright. <laughs> I've been here half the bloody morning taking two photos. <laughs> anyway, uh, a bit of fun there. Oh, this will do. Alright, I'm at F16, 160 speed. Yeah, no, the focus is no. gone on this. I don't know what's going on. I've noticed also, if you look in the little circle here, it doesn't match that. Or that. I don't know. I don't know how any of this is turning out, but... <laughs>
think down here with the contour of these rocks, the black and white, see these pebbles here? Uh, if I focus on the pebbles and get the city in the background, that might make for a, the black and white might, you know what I mean, make it contrasty. What do you think? What do you think, Jerry? <laughs> I left Jerry at home. Poor Jerry. I even got a little platform here. Someone left a little platform for me. <laughs> All right, so I've got to measure. F16 160 all the time and S16 1125 What about these trees with the bridge? If I get high I can get the bridge and the trees. I surrender. It must be the lens, or I don't know, maybe it's me, I'm not sure. Anyway, everything has been out of focus. Self portrait, self timer. Geez, I'd like to live here. Right on the water. We've got a ferry right there. Imagine living there. Ferry straight into the city. Overlooking Sydney Harbour. Okay, so that was a disaster. Let's try some Film Pack 6 film simulations. I've got a Kodak T-Max 100 here and this was the actual film that I used. So it's black and white film first produced in 1990 still available. The T-Max range with a tabular grain was launched to replace classic grain films. The 100 ISO version which is what I got offers a very fine grain. Not that I would see it using that stupid bloody Lubitel. <laughs> High sharpness and the ability to emphasize details with good contours. Well, there you go. So that's what uh, my shots would have looked like if the camera was any good. <laughs> okay, here's another photo I did with my phone and instant T Max 100. Yeah, that looks awesome. I can modify it a little bit, bring the exposure down a bit, contrast up a bit. Yeah, so that's that's the simulation of a T Max 100. That's what I should have been taking. In the spirit of things, here's an out of focus photo of Jerry's tippy tail. <laughs> So the Lubitel, I'm going to probably put that one on the mantelpiece and never touch it again. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Um, have a bit of fun with uh, old cameras. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll uh, catch you on the next one.